Hello and welcome to Droix. Today we are taking a look at the Aya Neo of which the final product is due for release very soon. We will be going over the technical specs, what to expect in the final model and play a few games to see the performance. The model I have here is the Founders Edition which was released earlier on this year. The final model will have some improvements over this one which we will discuss later but the processor etc essentially remains the same. It has the AMD Ryzen 5 4500U processor with Radeon graphics. We reviewed this processor in our recent Asus PM50 video. It is a decent processor and after some benchmarking we saw very respectable scores across the tests. There is 16 gigs of fast 4266 LPDDR4X RAM. There will be a choice of 512 gigs or 1 terabyte of M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD. It has Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5 support for wireless connectivity. And finally, there's three 4100 milliamp hour batteries. The IR Neo measures approximately 10.03 by 4.17 by 0.78 inches and weighs 650 grams. The H IPS touchscreen display is 7 inches in size with a native resolution of 1280 by 800. On the left you have a clickable left analog stick and classic digital pad. Below are a set of buttons. The largest when pressed cycles through a series of RGB colours for the case's LED. Another displays the Xbox game bar which is handy for taking screenshots for example. On the right we have four gaming buttons and below that the right analog stick which is clickable. There is another series of buttons including a left mouse button and to bring up the task manager. A very useful button is the on-screen keyboard which should overlay on games and can be used for entering text for example. On the top we have left and right shoulder and trigger buttons. You can find the power and volume up and down buttons followed by a 3.5mm headphone jack. There are two USB Type-C ports which can be used for charging, connecting to a hub or external graphics. There is also a third USB Type-C on the bottom of the device. The new model will have some improvements over the Founders Edition that we are currently using. There will be two case colours, Dark Star and Clear Moon as shown on screen. It seems that at the moment the clear case was limited to the Founders Edition. Amongst the changes are improvements to the backlight blade as well as some glue that appeared over time around the edges of the display. There was some friction with the fan blades that caused the back of the case to get very warm, so this as well as the overall cooling has been improved. And there's improvements to the overall build quality including the case seams and buttons. Other changes include the addition of analog trigger buttons which is a very welcome addition. A new speaker has been included which improves the overall audio quality and loudness. All in all, I uh, have learned a lot from the first batch of devices and have made a good number of improvements based on customer feedback. We will be doing a full review and benchmark of the final model once it is released, but in the meantime we will take a brief look at some games to see the performance. We start off with Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which both looks and runs great. We are using a mix of settings for the best performance versus visuals, and we will go into more detail in our full review. Up 
up next we have Streets of Rage 4 which is running at full graphics settings. It's not a massively demanding game but it does look and play great on these gaming handheld PCs. And last but not least is me trying to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered on a controller. I'm definitely a mouse and keyboard gamer so excuse the bad shooting. Again we will go into more detail on graphic settings in our full review on the final model when it is released. That wraps up this brief preview of the Ioneo and what you can expect from it when it is released. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with our videos. We have loads more coming very soon. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.